such a, you know, tech hub, you know, <laughs> not, I'm not surprised that there's a lot because of Because it's very science fiction based. Right. That usually kind of goes hand in hand with the high tech crowd, and Austin seems to have a lot of that. So. Right. So, uh, so in that respect, Austin would be a good place. Even if steampunk weren't big all over, it probably was still, still big in Austin, period. We did know there was, like, this underground you know, like, desire to start Steampunk. Um, I mean, I read about Steampunk and, you know, didn't realize that's what it was called in comic books. We like the whole, like, I guess the, um, we call it uh, old school goth sort of aspect of some of our clothes, and we didn't know, you know, how it fit, you know, our Victorian goth. So we've always carried that, and, you know, we're like, oh, I guess that would fit for Steampunk, you know, that, that totally makes sense. But then there was other, but, you know, because of this interest, we're thinking to be more conscientious of looking and, you know, getting local um, artists to make you know, Steampunk. In the past few months, especially, we've been going to all of our local artists to make crafts and sell them in here and to look up Steampunk. Please make some steampunk things. It's like you have these, you wear these as your basic outfit, and then you add what's what your gadgets are, because a lot of people are like focusing on, okay, it's great that you're wearing all the toy, that's great, but what did you add to it? You know? So it's like this these serves as like a basis. You know, you have your skirt and then you have maybe your corset or you have you know your jacket and then it's what you add to it that really makes it unique. And at the uh, the last steampunk event at Elysium last year, I noticed that everyone was going around talking to strangers and asking them, how did you make this? Right. How did you make that? Where did you buy that thing? Because And nobody looked the same because of that. Everybody it's wonderful. It's a just surprise. Hand made their own little things. Right. Everybody went to the hardware store or to the thrift shop and cut up old clocks. Uh, some people went to the army surplus stores and bought just random things and put it together. So it's almost like you're a walking piece of Elysium is a very welcoming place for, like, you can dress any way you want and they don't care. I mean, they're just a nice place to just, like, come as you are. You know, you're dressed like a hippie or you're dressed, you're dressed steampunk, but they're always, like, about, hey, come come dressed up, you know, dressed to the nines. We don't care. We welcome it. And, and that was the greatest place to have it was, like, oh, we're going to do the steampunk ball. Why don't we do Elysium? You know, and we got people there who you know, don't always go to the club or have never been to the club and they showed up and it was just, it was a ball, you know. It was